Hey guys, what's up? I'm gonna be making a vlog today. First, I kinda wanna talk about what's happened that isn't so happy. On St. Patrick's Day, which was a while ago now, but it still feels like it was kinda close, um, uh, my grandpa had been slipped into a coma for about a week after having a series of strokes, and he passed away. Um, so my family's been going through a lot since then. It's just been kinda not fun in any way whatsoever. Uh, at the funeral, I played a song that I wrote for him. It was an acoustic song. It's on my MySpace now. It's actually one of my favorites I've ever written. It's called The End. Um, so go check that one out. Um, it's a really personal song and it has a lot of meaning. The other not so good thing that happened is me and my girlfriend of two years, um, we just broke up. Um, it was kind of a long time coming, but it is still kind of hard to go through. But um, I think I finally really healed from that and it's gonna be a lot better from now on. And I think that's good. Other than that, I've also been watching a lot of horror movies. If you guys don't know what The Asylum is, it's uh, it's pretty funny. They're not supposed to be funny, but they really are. They're, they're so low budget that it's pathetic and it's amazing at the same time. Um, but what they basically do is they'll take movies that are about to be released and make their own versions of them and release them literally like a week before the real version is released. Like uh, Paranormal Activity, uh, when that movie was released, a week before it, they released a movie called Paranormal Entity. And it was basically the exact same movie, but not as good. <laughs> yeah, they, they make a lot of really comedic, not supposed to be comedic movies. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's called The Asylum, so check them out. I've been helping out a lot with my uh, youth ministries at my church. Um, I'll be... <coughs> I'll be volunteering um, at VBS, which is Vacation Bible School. It's for uh, children up to sixth grade, I think. And I'm going to be volunteering as a photographer for that, and that's going to be kind of fun. I've done that every year for the past few years. And... Um, it's really just a blessing to be like around all of them and seeing uh, how that week goes and it's, it's just a really big inspiration to me. I'm going to be touring this summer, hopefully. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to work out tour dates and if I can get that pulled through, I would be the happiest guy alive. Um, I've been wanting to go on a legitimate tour for years now and if I can get a good one, since I'm graduating from high school, in a couple of weeks, I think that this would definitely be the summer for me to do a tour before I get buckled down in, uh, into college. And yeah, so I've been praying for that a lot lately. After I put up the reviews of all the products that I filmed today, I'm going to be laying off of those for a while um, and trying to pursue a more musical channel. I don't know if that's what you guys want, but that's where I feel like I should be going with it. Like, I'm completely fine with constructive criticism. I'm fine with people telling me like what I need to improve on and stuff like that, but some, some of the comments, the hate ones, are honestly hilarious. And they they make me laugh like hysterically when I read them. So if you guys feel like trolling, go ahead. Chat relay trolling is probably one of the most fun things in the world to do. Uh -huh. Although, it can get kind of sketchy. Oh, for my band, we're going to be playing a show. August 14th is going to be our first show, because we did, we just put together our band, so we're going to be playing our first show August 14th. I don't think I've even told them yet, but I booked a show for us, <laughs> and I think it's going to be a really fun show. It's actually another festival, kind of like uh, Sedataphobia, which is the one I'm playing June 19th. I'm really excited for that, um, but it's going to be basically the same festival, but uh, redo with different bands but the same general concept. Look at my mini guitar. It's so tiny. Such a piece of garbage. I think it was like 25 bucks. Oh, my mom is, uh, my mom's getting married soon. Hopefully that'll be nothing but happiness for her and for my brother and sister who'll be living with them. And his four kids. His kids are all for an S2. It's incredibly hot in here. Oh, other random thing that I've been getting into is actually something that not many people that I know are into, 
is hypnosis. If you guys are ever interested in that, it's actually, it's really a cool experience because it's not like dangerous or anything at all. You just, you can wake up or what, whenever you want. It's just, um, it's just you either guiding you on a relaxation journey or stuff like that. But it is a lot of fun, and if you want to ever try it, go check out um, the channel Edini, and his, his link will be in the, the under bar, the crotch bar. Um, but yeah, he does amazing hypnosis videos, and if you ever want to watch any or try it out, go to him. He'll talk to you if you want. He's a really nice guy, too. I'm going to be starting to write my new acoustic stuff soon because I feel like I um, I didn't do my best on my last album. By that I mean um, I've gotten a lot better, I think, and I think that if I were to record more recently, then I think it would come out a lot more, uh, a lot better, and I think my sound would be a lot more mature, as well as not as flat as my voice always is in all of my recordings. I do apologize for that. Um, most likely I'll also be going back and re-recording a couple of my songs from my EP just so I can put new one, new like a fresh start on my MySpace. My friends also started a band, um, it's called Atlantic Lights. Um, so the MySpace link is Atlantic Lights NJ, that'll also be in the description. As well as, uh, that's with my two friends, um, Paul Cartelius, who's actually playing Sedataphobia with me. Um, so I'll put his link in the description too, he does acoustic stuff. And Christian Anderson, or Christian Range, as his MySpace thing is. Uh, but he does acoustic stuff too. He's not playing the festival, but he gets to play a lot of shows too. So I'll put his link in the description too. It's myspace.com slash Christian Range, I believe. But I'll find out and put it in the link for you, in the underbar. So, yeah, I think that's about all I have today. So, to all you guys watching, uh, God bless. Give me any suggestions that you have, and tune back in next time. All right, see ya.